Hola, today I'm gonna show you how to make this restaurant. And well, this building comes from the petition of my friend here, and I'm really sorry, but I don't know how to pronounce your name. So let's have a look. So well, here we have the front with this really nice pergola here, with some tables, you know, with really cool stuff like bread, some hanging leaves that look really cool. Here we have the entrance with a sink that says open so we can go into it so in we go and we have here all of the space where we have all of the tables some bread and really cool lamps and all of that detail it looks very realistic if you ask me so here we go we have this display here with all of the food we can ask here we have the chef and yes this is the kitchen you can see it looks very very nice you can open this and go into it where we have here all of the things you will use to cook and some of the dishes you know like bread bread with butter bread with cheese bread with ketchup bread with coffee bread with milk bread with water and sandwich without bread you know the common things you you see in a restaurant right and then we have here the restroom we open the door we have a trash can here with some sinks over here also we have here the toilet with some toilet paper and oh i really love the ceiling here i think this is my favorite part so far then we can live here and that's it now that we have seen the restaurant let's build it these are the measurements for a restaurant you can pause the video and copy them into your world to start we're gonna replace this little region with a pattern of smooth stone polish andesite and polished granite Now we're gonna take the smooth quartz and we're gonna make a wall of 8 blocks height in all of the red outline. Now here in the front we're gonna count 5 blocks, here in the sixth one we're gonna put a block and we're gonna take all of this wall to the other side. Now for the floor we're gonna take the stripped jungle wood and we're gonna make this pattern. And here for the bathroom, we're gonna use the normal block of quartz. Now we're gonna put some pillars in these corners using the stripped jungle wood. They gotta be six blocks high and we're gonna connect them. Now we're gonna take this 11 blocks to the back and we're gonna put a pillar there. We repeat the same in this side and we put a pillar here. Then we're gonna connect them like this. Now we're gonna count five and we're gonna take all the way like this. Here we're gonna count five and take it all the way here. Also at this side. And now we're gonna take the dark oak trapdoors and we're gonna put them in the bottom of all of our walls like this. Here at this side. Then we're gonna take the spruce sinks and we're gonna put them right above the dark oak trapdoors. And we will also put them right below the jungle beams. Now at this walls, we're gonna leave one block, we will break this two to put windows, we're gonna leave one and break this two to put some windows. Also at this side, we leave one, two windows, one, two windows. Then we go at the other side and we repeat the same process. Now we're gonna take the smooth quartz stairs and we're gonna put them 
next to the beams. Like that. And we will repeat the same thing in all of these squares. Now we're gonna take the smooth quartz slabs and we're gonna leave one block. We put one slab, we leave one, we put other. Here in this part we repeat the same thing. And then we're gonna get at the top and we're gonna take the shroom light to put them all over the stairs. Also in this line. Now we're gonna fill all of these holes with smooth quartz block. And then we're gonna get at the inside to cover all of this light up with the iron trackers. Also here at the side we're gonna leave just one block and the rest with iron trackers. So here we are done with the ceiling of the restaurant. Now we're gonna make the ceiling of the kitchen. And for now we're just gonna cover all of this up with normal smooth quartz block. I mean, doesn't this look very realistic? This have a very strong feeling of a real life place for me. Now we're gonna replace this line with grass. We're gonna put three leaves here, also at this side. Then we're gonna put smooth quartz slabs at the bottom here. We also will take the black stained crystal to put them here, also at this side. And in the middle, we fill it with stained glass. We will repeat the same here. And now for the doors, we're gonna put trap doors all the way down like this. We close them up also here at this side and here at the front we will fill it up with sinks and here we'll put trip wire hooks I hope I pronounced that right now here at the back we're gonna put three blocks and we'll take it to the other side and we'll put slabs on top Here at this side we're gonna put a layer of smooth quartz. Then you are gonna take the color you prefer. I will use gray concrete. we we'll put two blocks like this. And then slabs on top. Now you're gonna take some brick slabs. We're gonna put them like this. Going up and then going down here. Here at the middle. We're gonna go up again and then go down again. Like that. And we will take this M here to this wall. And there we have the roof of our restaurant. Wait a minute, this pattern is not right. We're gonna remove this line to put the underside here and then the smooth stone in this part. So it is a 5x5 five five square here of granite blocks. We have to fix it at this side as well. And now we can take the strip spruce lock to put a pillar of 7 blocks here and then connect it with the wall here. We're gonna do it here as well and in this corner too. We'll connect all of them. Then we're gonna pop out some locks here at the corners, like this. We're gonna take the spruce stairs to put them at the bottom of the locks. Then we're gonna take the spruce trap there to put them at the bottom of the stairs. Now we're gonna put some trap doors at the bottom of this beam, 
also at the top of it. And we're gonna repeat the same for these other two beads. We're gonna put some stone bottoms on these locks. Then we're gonna help us with a line here to put some spruce trapdoors. Then to close them up and remove these blocks here to put some trapdoors at the side of the other trapdoors. Then we'll close them up and we make this little kind of beam. And we're gonna fill all of this space here with this trick. So that makes this nice looking ceiling here. We're gonna pop it out here at this part. So it overhangs from this being here. And we're gonna repeat the same process at this side. And we have this cool looking pergola here. Now if you want, you can take some leaves to put them randomly over the ceiling and some of them hanging from, from it, something like this. We remove one trapdoor like this, we take it down. We can remove this one as well, other here, and we can put one in the top and other hanging from here, two blocks down, something like that. And it gives it a little bit of more light. Something like that could work very nice and that looks a lot better. Now here we can do a little thing saying that it is open with some change, some stained glass paint, some things over here and in the middle we can put like it is open. And we can dye it out with some dye, white dye. You can see what says there. And now we're gonna do here some tables. We're gonna put some stairs like this, some trap doors above it, above them. Then we can put a strip spruce wood in the middle with some spruce trap doors next to it. Then we can put a flower pot with some crimson roots. Then some item frames here next to the shares with some bread and some dead tube coral fan over the item frames. So it would look like it's the dish. And we can repeat the same model here in this space too. Now we can take the underside walls to make a little detail here at the sides detail also at this side and we can put some trash can here at the sides as well so like this we have the entrance completely done now we're gonna go into the interior to make the decoration here for that we're just gonna fill all of this space with four tables here in this corner in this corner and in this corner too so i'll see you when that's done done okay now that we have all of the tables in place we can do some lanterns we're gonna put two change here with a lantern and some things at the sides of the lantern and we will repeat the same thing with it here in all of these tables like this now we can put a trash can here and other at this side we're gonna put some paintings on the wall something like this and now we have all of this area done so we can make here our kitchen we can put a line of blocks here with some dark oak trapdoors like this and some jungle slabs at the top and a fence here we also could put some blocks here at the top like this to make some little like this place here something like that and you can also put a plant here to make it prettier Here we're gonna put two blocks, one here, we're gonna remove these two, some campfires there at the bottom, smooth stone over it, other block here. So you put an item frame here with a glass pane on it, and then you take the spruce trap doors to cover all of this up. Now you can put some random things over this like table here. Here we're gonna make a kitchen hood like this. Also, we'll make our little chef here, like that. We can put some fridges here, removing this trapdoor, something like this. We're gonna remove these three blocks, also these three, and these two here. We're gonna close the holes here at the top, so we can put some end rods in there, something like this. 
and we put some iron tractors below them and the light can still pass through them here we're gonna put more blocks dark oak tractors here here we're gonna put the cauldrons also two trip wire hooks here we're gonna remove these two blocks to put a light source there then we're gonna put a spruce trapdoor here and we're gonna take it the way like this we're gonna put them like this as well also we will remove these three blocks here and at this side so we can put some spruce planks right there and that looks a lot better we're gonna take the trip wires for a moment to remove these blocks here to put some quartz bricks and then we can put back the trip wires at this side we're gonna make a little board and here we can use sinks to put the different dishes we're giving here and then we'll light them up with some white dye we can take the sinks all the way down here flower at the top here some paintings here here at this side we're gonna use the spruce trapdoors like so you can put whatever you want here like that and also here and well here we're done with the kitchen now let's live here to do the bathroom or the restroom shall I say we're gonna put a door here with a trapdoor on top we're gonna close the roof here we're gonna put a pillar at this part we're gonna remove the three blocks with a little window to ventilate our restroom and we're gonna put four blocks like this four blocks like this we're gonna connect them at the top and another here and we close it here then we're gonna add the doors at the inside trap doors here also here we're gonna add a little toilet here like this and also we're gonna add a toilet paper the iron frame a stone button and also wool like that we're gonna do the same at this side and here we're gonna make the sink first we're gonna make some mirrors using the loom we're gonna put the white banners like this we're gonna put some light blue dye to make a gradient like this we put it back here to make a uh, line like this with a white dye and also we'll put the light blue dye again to make the gradient again we're gonna put it at the top here and we're gonna put cauldrons and some trip wire hooks we're gonna put spruce sinks here a little thing here some item trap doors here and the trash can here like this here at this side we're gonna take the ceiling a little bit down leaving these two blocks here to make a little lantern here like that and with that we're done with the bathroom i mean doesn't this look realistic this doesn't look like minecraft at all oh i'm missing a block here there we go now to finish we have to add the final touches and for that we're gonna use the banners to add the name of our restaurant something like this and there we go and that will leave the link of the page in the description so you can do the letters you want to make your own custom name don't have to thank me and with that we're all done with the restaurant and as you can see we already have some customers so that's it for this video i hope you like it and remember if you do so give me a like please you can subscribe as well. So that was the video, I hope you like it and I'll see you in the next video. Adios!